Hemolytic disease of newborn Introduction Hemolytic disease of newborn is a syndrome associated with hemolysis in the fetus either in utero and or after delivery with consequent hyperbilirubinemia. It is commonly due to immune destruction of red cells of the fetus as a result of maternal IgG antibodies which transmit through placenta, however there can be a number of other causes. Blood transfusion services are mostly concerned with HDN caused by maternal red cell antibodies. Etiopathogenesis HDN occurs due to blood group incompatibility between the mother and fetus. The mother may be aluminized to red cell antigens either following transplacental hemorrhage of incompatible fetal red cells during pregnancy or labor or by transfusion of incompatible red cells. If IgG antibodies are formed, they can cross the placenta during a subsequent pregnancy in amounts sufficient to cause immune destruction of incompatible fetal red cells. IgM antibodies do not cross the placenta and are not implicated in HDN. Fetomaternal incompatibility to ABO antigens, RH antigens and other blood group systems may cause HDN. The most frequent antigen that induces immunization is the antigen. But actually any red cell antigen present on fetal cells and absent in the mother can stimulate antibody production. Anti, small c and anti k are implicated as the other common causes of severe HDN. Classification of HDN HDN can be classified according to the specificity of the causative IgG antibody into the following categories. APO hemolytic disease usually due to IgG type anti A and anti B. RH hemolytic disease due to anti D. HDN due to other Rh antibodies anti small c, anti e, anti c, anti small e. HDN due to antibodies against antigens of other blood group systems example anti k, anti small k, anti fya, anti jka, anti jkb, anti m, anti n, anti s, anti small s etc. Pathophysiology Excessive hemolysis in the fetus caused by maternal antibodies may result in accelerated extramedullary erythropoiesis. Unlike HDN due to NTD, NTK acquired from the maternal circulation suppresses fetal erythropoiesis in addition to peripheral red cell destruction. If it is not adequate to maintain the fetal hemoglobin level, fetus may have anemia, hepatosplenum gale, Cardiac failure and oedema which are the hallmark of hydrops fetalis. Such fetuses often die in the uterus itself, known as stillbirth. Bilirubin, produced by immune destruction of fetal red cells, causes the placenta to be conjugated and excreted by the mother's liver, thus preventing a marked increase in the fetal plasma bilirubin even in severe hemolysis. However, Bilirubin enters the amniotic fluid by transduction through the blood vessel of the umbilical cord. At birth, the infant becomes dependent on its own hepatic deuteronal transferase activity to conjugate and excrete bilirubin. The enzyme, deuteronal transferase, is poorly developed at birth, so affected infants are unable to excrete bilirubin and its level increases. Premature infants, in particular, do not have this activity at birth and such infants can be seriously jaundiced even without excessive hemolysis. If bilirubin accumulates in excess of the albumin binding capacity, it is deposited in the central nervous system and leads to garnicterus.